Three of the most common words which one hears from people in fitness are carbs, lipids, and proteins. So, what exactly are they? Are they some kind of supernatural foods that make people strong and muscular? Well, not exactly. Look at the food that we eat in our everyday lives. The chances are that they contain one, two, or all of these macronutrients. The only difference is that some people quantify them and some don't. In this episode of Get Shredded, let's talk about lipids, or as they are commonly known, fats. Fat? Bad news? Just the word itself is enough to scare people. A long time ago, people started eating low-fat diets in order to lose weight before research finally showed that dietary fat wasn't necessarily the evil that was causing heart diseases. Even today, fats are classified into bad fats and good fats, whereas the definition and difference between the two is blurry. We're told to be cautious of saturated fats to protect our heart health butter, cheese, red meat, and so on. Yet meta-analysis data suggests, at worst, a weak link between saturated fat and heart diseases. So, does that mean fats are good and we can consume as much as we want? No way! The principle of energy balance still holds true. In the end, it all comes down to calories. The body easily stores tens of kilos of fats, which can power an individual for many days. An average person actually carries enough energy in the form of fat to survive for a month. That doesn't mean you should just starve and depend on body fat for survival. Remember, you can survive without carbs, but without essential fats, your biological functions and certain hormonal secretions will get hampered. Fat is the most calorie-dense macronutrient, containing 9 calories per gram as compared to protein and carbohydrates at 4 calories per gram. Fat is the one which can make the biggest difference to our calorie balance when reduced or over-consumed. Add a dollop of cream or drizzle some oil all over your meal and you can end up adding almost 200 extra kilocalories. These so-called insignificant changes can suddenly add an extra 500 kilocalories per day. So, Be careful when consuming fat, but don't shy away from it.